Hey y'all, it's Dr. Know It All. I'm with Lance King, who is the CEO, right, of, of StreamIt, but more importantly, Cyberlander. So <laughs> we are gonna talk today, it's uh, I think a bit of an exclusive, right? With it you? is. It is. Yeah. So we're gonna get to look at an engineering prototype of the Cyberlander camper that fits on the back of the Cybertruck. Yes, we're not gonna see everything today, <laughs> and it's an engineering prototype, So, but that means a lot of it's functional, right? So, um, uh, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, each cool. prototype is designed to test at least one or two new things, right. right? And so you go through quite a few before you got everything working and you're ready for production. Uh, so today, we'll, what we'll really focus on is the kitchen. So you'll notice it's low, right? Right. Which is where it is when it travels, so that everything okay. collapses down and it fits. Okay. So this actually raises up, and our plan is to have at least two positions, so maybe a standard height and a taller height, because right. so people don't want to bend over as far, that right. kind of thing. And the sink uh, doubles as a workstation, so it's right. a, I love cutting that cutting board. board. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. I don't know if we'll stick with bamboo or if we'll go with HDPE. Right. Uh, we'll, so know. what? Is, what is this? Is because it? This is porcelain. It actually really okay. This is real wow. porcelain. So you got a, a marble look. That is really uh, so high the, high end. Yeah, you yeah. get the beauty of of uh, marble, right? Right. But with uh, the durability of porcelain. So. Uh, you know, normally when you've got a camper, you've got a little tiny shallow sink. Right. And then right. you've got about three inches right here or less. <laughs> right. And then you've got your, your, your gas range. There's no room to make a sandwich. Exactly. And that frustrated me and a lot of other campers. So we said, you know what? Uh, we're going to do it differently. We're going to open the whole thing up, put the induction cooktop underneath so it takes up no space. So that is, you've that got is so a brilliant. massive work area. Right. Uh, and so underneath here is actually yeah, the cooktop. So, so if yeah. you look carefully you'll see little edges right, oh, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know and if you can like zoom in and see that. Like there's like a little edge. So that's what shows you where the center of the, the cooktop is. So the first thing most people say when they come in here is, wow, it's bigger than I imagined. It, it right? really actually uh, is. You actually have some real space in here and with the right. windows at both levels, whether you're seated or standing, right. you've got a oh, great right. view. Oh right, too. And in most campers you've got a cabinet right in your right. face. Right. And we would look out the windows to crouch down, right? Right. And so uh, we uh, think this improves that a lot. Uh, we wanted to change that and make Look the at sink a, a workstation. And so you have a tri-level cool? sink with a colander. It can be at one level. A wash bin <sighs> can be at another. And drying racks it can be at yet another. Oh my gosh. And so that is so cool. We transfer a, a crappy sink into a, a good sink. And then it all just like usable. folds down it and it's gone. In and yeah. it all goes away and you're you're ready to travel. So wow. these cabinets are actually HDP. Okay. And so expensive outdoor cabinets right. uh, for kitchens, outdoor kitchens, are yeah. made of the same thing. Right. And they sit outside for 10, 20 years. They don't fade, they don't chip, they don't rot, they don't corrode, they never delaminate, they never peel, they don't need <laughs> <Right>. finishing. <laughs> and so we said that's what we want in this. Right. Something that's just right. gonna hold up <clears throat> instead of the first time something spills in the drawer, oh, yeah. the thing warps, and right. molds, and <laughs> oh, you start over. We that is true, that. especially a lot of outdoor stuff that you don't access for a long time. You get mold and all that yeah. and garbage. Yeah, they can turn like, yeah. really bad really fast. So the uh, uh, drawers, uh, it, it's down, so it's kind of cool. under a strain now, right? right. But uh, <clears> the drawers are a, a soft close. They're soft touch open and soft close. Cool. And, and the uh, little fridge right there just tucked in. Yeah. yeah, and the idea for that was with no handles, you're not going to catch anything. It's never going to go right. out of date, look old fashioned or whatnot. That's true. And uh, it's not going to rub things when you're traveling or cause problems. And since it's HDPE, it's difficult to scratch, it's right. kind of self healing and um, all that. So I guess the idea was just to make this thing pretty indestructible. Yeah. And you know, so right. it's you know, it's it's you it's the highest something. quality you can get and it's gonna last right. as long as the Cybertruck does, which is probably a long time. It's, That's uh, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to, to match that kind of the technology, the, the Cybertruck and the durability, right? Right. And that's not easy, but uh, let's put a little water in there. You've got an induction cooktop, so you're, yeah, you're probably yeah. familiar with it. But it's pretty uh, cool how it but this one uh, so it had like an auto off. It looked like it maybe if it could. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. yeah, auto That's actually on, good. And um, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go. I'm used to that with the induction mode. stove. It makes that right. kind of whining sound uh -huh. as it goes. So, and so within <laughs> within two minutes we'll have boiling water. Wow. <laughs> uh, and most induction cooktops and campers are 
110 volt and they're right. much lower wattage, right? Right. So they're still going to take quite a while to heat up. Right. But this one, yeah, you can see it's already starting to bubble. Yeah. And um, that's cool. We'll have a, a good rolling boil in under two minutes. Wow. So. That's as good as those, you know, the jet boils or something when you go camping and you get yeah. those little gas. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, that's like, yeah, this it, is really fast. <clears throat> that actually will make cooking so much better for, uh, like, you know, because a lot of times when you're camping and you're, you've got a small amount of space and you, you don't, don't want to, like, wait 30 minutes for the stupid pasta water to boil. Right. Or, you know, like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so you don't end up eating very well, right? Right, and exactly. We'd like to change that. That is cool. Man, so, and look at that thing. Yeah. It's, that means when you when you finish, it's actually going to be, it's going to get cold to, to the surface yeah. quicker. Right. You know? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. That's like another that. thing. I don't know if people who don't have induction, because the induction, the surface doesn't get hot. It gets hot where it contacts the right. pot, but it doesn't yeah. become like a burner where yeah, it's actually and, hot. So. And on this one, you'll find it doesn't even get really hot there, right? So yeah. we'll bring this to a boil. And um, wow. So, so how. Like, is the induction surface just literally, like, right under the surface of that, and you just, like... Yeah, there's about a half an inch here, okay. and then it's right beneath that. So. Oh, so it's actually is separated by a, a little bit. Yeah, you've got the, the porcelain, yeah. and then uh, a special material beneath that, right. and then the induction cooktop. That is so really cool. <laughs> here we've got boiling water, and... Look at... Oh, okay. That's that's impressive. So, I've never had the guts to try that at home. Go ahead. To try that now. Try. Oh, here we go. And, <laughs> You'll have to hold. And, and, I'm going to be yeah, Franz here in a minute, but <laughs> okay. Wow, I feel scared. It's <laughs> actually terrifying. <laughs> wow, it's not even warm, really. That is really crazy. That is really cool. So, and operate both of them turbo mode. Yeah, exactly. So does it have that like power boost mode or whatever? It, it does, and uh, we can power boost both of them. Right. So. It's not an inexpensive induction cooktop. It is a high-end European induction cooktop. Yeah. Um, so I mean, look at how fast that is, that is boiling. On that. And that's a one we no, just that's a larger barely started. It's larger. Pan, so yeah, that's you know? incredibly light given what yeah. and structurally it's, it's like, so rigid. It's like balsa wood, right? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, crazy. It's, it's insane. And, and then try and bend it, you know. Yeah. Hold that for you. <laughs> Let's go the long way. So I have some. <laughs> like <laughs> put your knee into it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> it's ridiculous stuff. Wow. And that yeah. is absolutely nutty. It really is. What we use is actually stronger than that, but. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, what you use is actually stronger than this one. Yeah. Wow. All right, Franz, eat your heart out, buddy. <laughs> Can I really wail? Yeah. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> wow. Not only is it not breaking, but there's like no dents or anything. That's crazy. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> go, go ahead and stand on it. Yeah, I'll look. Cool. Oh, one more or stand on it. I'll stand on it. You we'll can, see. You can. There you go. And like we say, that's, that's not as strong as what we have, use. Like, right. That feels really weird. <laughs> like my feet are like, zzz. that is incredible. But I, mean, it I can't believe it doesn't dent when you hit it like that. If you look at it very closely, it puts little tiny right. dents in it, but it's. But amazing. I mean, I pretty wailed on it. Yeah. It's, so, it, <laughs> people want to know that it's bear safe, right? Right. Uh, yeah. No bear. I don't think a bear's getting through that. One of the things it had to do to pass my test was right. it had to be big enough to hold the great big one-pound spring lettuce box that you get. Right. So right. You got a week's worth of lettuce, right? Yeah. 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 And that slides right in underneath there. So wow. it's oh, it's actually, like under it. Yeah, wow. it's actually amazing how much you can fit in there. <clears throat> and you do have the small freezer in there. And, uh, I just want to make a note here. There's three of us adults in this space, mm -hmm. and it feels we could easily have a fourth. Well, have you and, ever had that kind of head? Yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Before. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is absolutely yeah. nuts. And again, this so. is just uh, just final thoughts. Uh, you know, you, you can see we're making great progress. I know. Uh, yeah. There are lots of amazing things that have to be invented to pull this off right and you're you've seen the progress right uh, and it's so. it's amazing i mean going yeah <laughs> and then you know it's going to be finishing the prototype and then manufacturing it's manufacturing yeah there you and, go uh, luckily, you've got a ton got of reservations already right uh over 2500 wow that's and, great uh, so that's over 125 million right in pre-orders now and of course, we're working with Monroe and Associates on the manufacturing, right. make sure we get it right the first time. Yeah, I think they'll probably help you out. That's yeah, probably going to be will. great. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I really thank appreciate you. it. And, yep. you know, again, Cyberlander, I'll obviously put the link in the description. You should definitely check it out.